Hi there, it's Stephanie. I want to take a minute and show you how I created this animated clock in PowerPoint to visually indicate to uh, students or users how long this course is going to take. So you can see this course is going to be a 20 minute course and let me just play back the animation on the clock itself. Um, here it comes here. On the left side you can see that the hand is moving down to number four and this green shading is following the hand. Let me play it back one more time. If it appears jittery to you at all, it could be a screener effect. The actual animation effects are smooth, so when you create this, it will create a, a very cool looking element. Let me show you how I did this. You need four, four elements to work with. You need a clock with no hands. This can actually be created in PowerPoint, but the screener isn't going to go through that. Uh, then you need to use the drawing tool of Pi. So you just go under your drawing tools, and under the basic shapes, you'll have one called Pi. You'll need to draw a circle and a rounded rectangle. All three of these objects, PowerPoint objects, will have no outline. So let's work with the hand first for the clock. It just has a straight black fill and it's been sized so it fits on the clock itself. So right about there. Now to, to put that hand in motion, we're going to add an emphasis effect of spin. But watch what happens. It motions all right, but it spins in place and that's not what we want. The pivot point of an object when you're using the spin animated effect is the center of that object. So in other words, the center of the hand, so it makes it appear as if it's, it's actually spinning in place. We don't want that. We want it to appear uh, as if it's moving over to the number four, which means its pivot point has to be the center of the clock instead. So, and Tom had mentioned this on a previous screener, as did another user. So let me show you how I got around this. Uh, I basically just duplicated the hand and then I placed a duplicated copy of the hand directly underneath the first one and then I played with its transparency increasing it up to 100 percent. I then selected both of the objects Control X to cut them off the slide and then I used the paste special menu to bring them in as a PNG. That retains the transparency down below there. It's now one taller, much larger object, a taller object and I'm placing that back on the clock. I'm going to add the exact same spin effect and you can see that it's spinning from the center of the object or in this case the center of the clock. So let's just change the spin though. It's indicating 60 minutes, we want 20. So we'll change the spin to be 120 degrees which will stop it at the number 4. And I'm also going to change the timing so that the speed is set to 1.3 seconds which I found to be just about right. Perfect, okay, now let's move that hand off the clock for now and work with, this, with the second effect, which is the Pi. So when I drew the Pi, I just held down my shift key and I drew it so it filled the inside of the clock up. I then used these yellow handles, I just dragged them around with my mouse so that one handle ended at 4 and that one handle ended at noon. So I have this kind of noon to 4 thing and I'm just going to move, move that uh, Pi shape over just a little bit just to make sure that my lines are are nice and straight. So something like that. Then I added the wedge effect, entrance wedge, which is creating that kind of follow wipe effect. And it does it, but it does it again from the center of the green piece of the pie. We want it to be the center of the clock. So similar to the hand, what we have to do here, what I did, is I just created a proportional circle, again the same size as the inside of the clock, and I overlaid that on top of the piece of pie. And then I change the circle transparency to 100%. I then grab both of those objects, I cut them off of the slide, and then I pasted them back in as a PNG. I then position that back over top of the clock, and let me just get that right in position here. And then I grab the, um, uh, let me add the effect back in, entrance effect of wedge on that green piece, and you can see it comes right in. So that's perfect. And now the hand, is going to go right on top of that, right about there. I'm going to just change it so it's with previous, so both animated effects play at the same time, and let's click play and see what we've created. So there you go, an animated clock. Now you could also play with that pie piece before you complete the other steps. When you're dragging those yellow handles around, you could drag it down to five for a 25 minute course, or six for a, a 30 minute course, so you can actually play with the timing before you continue with the other steps. But uh, that's the, uh, the gist of creating an animated clock in PowerPoint.